This is my response to the district attorney's decision. Uh, we're outraged. Literally, we're outraged. The district attorney refusing to charge the police officers, um, even though it's clear from the video and the autopsy, as well as the death certificate by their coroner that said homicide. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, they executed my son. They executed him in my mom's backyard. And it is not right. It is not right. However, the DA has shown us time and time again throughout her terms who she is and what she stands for, which is not fairness or justice. Um, she has never charged an officer for the homicide. And there's been 100 plus homicides by police on civilians. Um, my son is just the one that will break the mold because we're not going to accept that. We're not going to. We've been sitting for a year patiently, allowing her an opportunity to do right. And she has failed us. Um, my son was shot eight times in the backyard. They want to keep showing this video that I've never seen that my son had to watch. Um, she wants to go on a smear campaign about his character and his actions and make public things that him and his significant other were going through to justify or, or condone her officer's actions. Whatever he was doing, whatever he was doing or on, whatever his character is uh, or his actions prior to those police gunning him down is no one's business. It doesn't, that, that's not justification. That's not, a, that's not a permit to kill him. I don't care if he was a criminal or as they say, a criminal or whatever. I don't care about, none of that matters. What matters is how those officers came with lethal force around the corner on a vandalism call after my son and gunned him down when he had nothing but a cell phone in his hand. That's what matters. And that was wrong. It was homicide and they should be charged. I, I'm, I'm praying that the attorney general will pick up where she failed. Um, my faith in the justice system is what it has been. It's not for us. It's not for the black community. It's, it's what they've shown us time and time again. Um, that's about it. I, I, I feel like shame on the DA, shame on her. I know she will not sleep well at night. She can't. The, the, the video that my son's my family has watched. They said it looks different from the first video. I don't know if that there's any truth to that. Um, I just know that it's just not right. And, and, and no justice, no peace. You know, I haven't had peace. I haven't been able to sleep. I haven't been able to eat. I haven't been able to function. And neither has any member of my family based on the fact that Stefan was murdered. Period. So...